Hello friends. In this video we will learn more about air, its properties, composition, uses and about atmosphere. Have you ever felt the presence of air? Even though air is not visible, it occupies space and has mass. There are so many things around us which are moving on their own. You can hear rustling of leaves, swaying of clothes on cloth line ray, flying kites, and ringing of wind chime are the evidences which shows that air is present around us. What is Atmosphere? We live on Earth and our Earth is surrounded by a thick blanket of air. The envelope of air surrounding the surface of the Earth is called Atmosphere. The atmosphere extends to a height of about 500 km above the Earth's surface. It acts as a shield for the Earth, and protects us from UV rays. Atmosphere is also responsible for maintaining water cycle in the nature. It maintains the temperature of Earth. Atmosphere is essential for life on Earth as it has oxygen gas required for breathing by all living organisms. Properties of Air Air is present everywhere. We cannot see air, but we may notice its presence through the movement of the leaves of a tree or the moving blades of a windmill. Moving air is called wind. It can be strong enough to even uproot trees. Air occupies space this can be understand through an activity. Take an empty glass tumbler and a bowl filled with water. Turn the tumbler upside down and immerse it in the bowl. Water does not enter in the tumbler because air is present in the tumbler. Now, tilt the tumbler, you will see some bubbles forming at the mouth of the tumbler. This happens because when we tilt the tumbler, we provide an opening for the air to escape. The space created by the escaping air in the form of bubbles is occupied by the water. Air has mass. Let's find out with this activity. Blow up the two balloons till they are roughly of the same size. Tie them with a piece of a thread to both ends of the ruler and tie a string at the middle. Now burst one of the balloon. What happens to the ruler? One side of the ruler goes up and other remains down. This activity shows that air has mass. Air is colorless and we cannot see it. Air is tasteless too. You must have experienced a pleasant smell on entering a hotel room. While another time, you must have smelled bad air while passing by an open garbage bin. Pure air has no smell or odor. It is the presence of some other substances that imparts an odor to air. Composition of Air Air is a mixture of gases, consisting mainly of Nitrogen 78% Oxygen 21% And Helium, Argon, Carbon Dioxide and other rare gases as 1% Water vapor and dust particles are also present in the air. However, their percentage in air vary from one place to other and from time to time. Nitrogen controls burning during combustion of fuel. The compounds of nitrogen play important role for the growth of plants as free nitrogen cannot be absorbed by plants. Lightning and rain add nitrogen to the soil in the form of molecules such as nitrates and nitrites. It is an important constituent of proteins. When animals consume plants, they take in the form of food. It is used to manufacture drugs and dyes. Nitrogen being an active gas is used in the preservation of foods. It supports humans, animals and plants on the earth as all living organisms need oxygen for respiration. Oxygen burns food and release energy inside our body. It dissolves in water, which in turn helps keep water fresh and is a source of respiration for aquatic plants and animals. Living organisms that live under the soil such as snakes, rats, beetles and earthworms use oxygen trapped in the pores of the soil. It is also essential for combustion of fuels and supports burning. 
divers going into deep sea also use oxygen cylinders. Carbon dioxide is required by plants to carry out the process of photosynthesis. It is responsible for trapping the sun's heat and for greenhouse effect. It is easily liquefiable. It can be solidified also at low temperature. Solid carbon dioxide shows sublimation that is it converts into vapors without melting. This is reason why it is called dry ice and used as refrigerant. It is moderately soluble in water so used in carbonation of soft drinks. It is used in the manufacture of urea. It does not support combustion and so, is used to extinguish fire. Water evaporates from the surface of water bodies and forms water vapor. The composition of water vapor varies from place to place, region to region, and season to season. For example, concentration of water vapor is more in coastal areas than desert areas. The presence of water vapor in air is important for the continuation of water cycle in nature. The amount of dust particles and smoke in air varies from place to place. It is more near construction sites, roadsides and factories. Oxygen cycle The percentage of oxygen in the air remains almost constant even through it is being continuously used for respiration and combustion. This is because during photosynthesis plants release oxygen. Plants, animals and human beings use oxygen for respiration during the day as well as at night. The rate of photosynthesis is very high during the daytime. Plants produce and release much more oxygen than they consume during respiration. The amount of oxygen in the atmosphere is sufficient for the respiration of animals as well as human beings. This cycle of consumption and release of oxygen in nature is called oxygen cycle. Photosynthesis and respiration are the two main processes responsible for maintaining the balance of oxygen in air. Plants and animals are interdependent on each other and help maintain the oxygen cycle. The oxygen cycle helps in maintaining the balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the air. However, continuous deforestation and urbanization have rapidly decreased the green cover of the earth. This has led to an increase in the level of carbon dioxide in air, which causes environmental issues such as global warming. Thus, we should plant more trees to ensure a balance of these gases in the atmosphere. Role of the atmosphere The atmosphere maintains the right temperature of the earth. The heat and light of sun first falls on the atmosphere surrounding the earth. This blanket allows only a limited amount of heat and light to fall on earth's surface. This prevents earth from becoming too hot during daytime. During night, the heat released by the earth is not allowed to escape. This prevents the earth from cooling down too much. The atmosphere causes the changes in weather. The hot air rises up and the cool air takes its place. This is how winds blow. Natural cycles such as the water cycle and oxygen cycle also occur in the atmosphere. High up in the Earth's atmosphere in the region between about 10 km and about 50 km is present a layer of ozone gas. This absorbs 93 to 99% of the ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Most of the UV rays can cause skin cancer and eye problems. Therefore, the presence of the ozone layer is important for the existence of life. Uses of air Air is not only required for respiration and photosynthesis, but is also used in a number of ways. Air is helps in the dispersal of pollen grains and seeds, and thereby, in the multiplication and survival of plants. Wind helps the windmill to rotate, which are used to draw water from tube wells, run flour mills and generate electricity.
Air plays an important role in the water cycle. Water evaporates from water bodies in the form of water vapor in air and is restored back in the form of rain. Compressed air is used to inflate tires of vehicles. Oxygen, a constituent of air, is essential for burning of fuels. Air is essential for the movement of aeroplanes, helicopters, parachutes, yachts and sailboats. Air pollution Air pollution is the introduction of large amounts of undesirable substances such as harmful gases, chemicals, dust particles and other harmful materials into the atmosphere. These are harmful to plants and animals, including human beings, as well as to the wider environment.